What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back. Guys, we are back with another video today. Second video today it is going to be the top 10 budget ballers. Not budget ballers. What am I saying? Investments. Guys, investments are a lot in this game. As you know, your boy Bugs always talking about investments, always trying to make stubs. As you can see, I am broke. Um, I made investments. I bought probably 500 i did a stub thing yesterday the shopping tree 400k down i am broke um let's just look at what i bought i got stum active auctions um it's rough man your boy bugs is broke but look at all this man we are gonna be fine your boy bugs is still low-key rich okay so guys i got the top 10 investments as per usual drop a comment like the vid let's get it to 100 likes again 100 likes on the vid will give away 10k to a random su uh, random sub. Just drop the sub, man. We're doing this every day. We're posting vids every day. We're on a grind. It's worth coming to your boy Bugs channel. Thank you guys for the support. Let's get into the video. So, we have all the stats on Yahoo Fantasy. You probably can't see, but here they are. So, at rank one over the last 14 days, we're doing this over the last 14 days. Why? Because the roster update is based on the last 14 days. It is that simple. So right now, number one over the last 14 days is Francisco Lindor. Now, is he a top investment? I would not say that. That is not a good investment. My favorite investment, we're going to go to him. It's David Dahl. David Dahl is back from the injured list. He's playing like a beast, and he's very, very cheap. Now, let's read off the stats. He is batting. Now, now my phone has to lag. So, you know what? Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. He has 21 hits over the last two weeks, this is. He has... So, he's 21 for 53. That average is insane. So, he's got three dingers, 12 ribbies, two doubles, and a triple. Five walks versus nine strikeouts. If those stats don't scream of an upgrade slash investment, I don't know, bro. Another one we got here. Oh, we just got Ryu. Another one we have Corey Seager. Um, yeah, Corey Seager got downgraded, but Corey Seager is back in action. Number two on the list, Corey Seager over the last two weeks, 20 for 48, unbelievable. Eight singles, eight doubles, three dingers, 14 ribbies, three walks versus 10 strikeouts, versus nine strikeouts, actually. One intentional walk. That screams of an upgrade. That screams of an investment. That screams of deadly. Uh, next up, another investment. Number three on the list. Trevor, tell me a story. This is the week, man. We've been waiting since day one for this man to go diamond. 3,800 stubs. You cannot go wrong. Pick up Trevor Story. End of discussion. He will go diamond. Tre even if he doesn't go diamond. Even if he doesn't go diamond. Friday at 12 East before the update happens. You scoop Story and you make a ton of stubs. Either way, just make sure you sell him before the update like I do every single week. Best way to make stubs. The stats. He is 17 for 45. Pretty decent average. Two dingers. Two doubles. Two, uh, no. Seven doubles. Seven singles. A triple, eight ribbies, three stolen bases, six walks versus 14 strikeouts. He screams of stud. He screams of diamond. Next up, holy crap, Austin Meadows. Oh, yeah, Austin Meadows is unbelievable. Um, 500 stubs, 76 overall. He's going to 78. Um, the guy's a beast. Uh, just highly recommended. The stats here, they are. 20 for 56. Beautiful average. Batting way over 333. Uh, 14 singles, two, three doubles. Two home runs, one triple, 11 RBIs, six walks versus 12 strikeouts. He screams of upgrade. He screams of stub making. He screams of greatness. So Austin Meadows, four on the list. Number five, Mike Moustakis. Here he is, man. Mike Moustakis, the Greek freak in baseball. Um, let's get to him, man. He's he's being moosey. He's being beastly. He's already at 1,000 stubs. Honestly, he's doing amazing. Don't invest. That's all I'm going to say. He's not an investment. Number five on the list again. La Stella. Tony La Stella, bro. Um, where is he? Did I spell his name wrong? I guess I did. Is it even Tony? 
It's Tommy. My bad. Tommy LaStella. I'm an idiot. It's okay, though. 195 stubs. 125 sell now. Go pick him up. Fifth on the list. 11, no, 22 for 63, not the best average, I would say about 300, 3 home runs, 3 doubles, 16 singles, 3 walks for 6 strikeouts, 6 extra base hits, go scoop them, uh, that is number 5 on the list, number 6, Jay Bruce gets traded, 24 hours later, he has 3 dingers, Jay Bruce is a snag, and Jay Bruce is 91 by now, go scoop the man himself, He's going off over the last two weeks. He's 11 for 32 with five dingers, three doubles, three singles, 12 ribbies, four walks versus four strikeouts. That screams of upgrade. That screams of greatness. And yeah, Jay Bruce Daddy. Next up, Xander Bogarts, number seven on the list. Six on the list. I think it's seven. I don't know. But, hmm, 83 overall, reeks of greatness, reeks of stubs, reeks of diamonds. And here it is, 1,500 stubs. Now, listen to this, though. Over the last week, he slowed down, but over the last two weeks, he did amazing. So we're going to say it's a good investment, especially for 1,500 stubs. 16 for 50, not the best average, but it's pretty freaking good. Three dingers, five doubles, eight singles, stolen base, three uh, nine ribbies, five walks versus 10 Ks, eight extra base hits. I believe he goes at least an 84, but could be off. Next up, uh, Edwin Incarnacion joins the 400 home run club. He's at 711. Uh, 602 stubs sell now. Pretty good investment if you ask me. Uh, this is number eight on the list. He's, oh, baby, he's on fire. The average, okay, the average isn't good, but the dingers are good. Seven home runs over the last two weeks. Five doubles, all right, one double, five singles. Uh, 12 ribbies, seven walks versus 13 strikeouts. Oh, those stats, those are good stats, bro. Um, let me see. Let's look at starting pitchers. Let's, uh, okay. Okay. Next up, Mr. Sampson on the Rangers. Nobody knows who this guy is. And look at this. <laughs> Yo, guys, if you guys are smart and you guys listen to your boy Bugs, you might be lit because this reeks of greatness. Five stubs, man. Go pick him up. Go get blessed. This is big money right here. Sampson at number eight or nine i think it's i think it's eight let's just say eight um do you really want to hear stats over the last two weeks you're gonna be like yo what ready over the last two weeks three and oh a complete game only five earned runs in 21 innings um uh two walks 24 strikeouts and unbelievable um he should have pitched a complete game shutout but uh, his bullpen blew it in the ninth, but he's been ama amazing, and he's five stops. Reeks of one of the best investments in this game. Um, next up, Giolito. I'm pretty, pretty sure Giolito is... Mm, I would stay away. Um, ah, it's a little too expensive for a bronze, but if you think he's going to go gold, I would go for it. Uh, let's see. Okay. DJ LeMahieu, man. DJ LeMahieu is number nine or eight or ten i don't know i lost count but whatever lemayhu is at 1100 stubs um recommend the card first of all gets an upgrade second of all investment not a bad investment uh if he gets upgraded maybe you go to 1600 you make like 500 stubs clean not bad um mm, pretty good and honestly for the last investment i'm gonna go moran I'm going to go Moran on the freaking Pirates, man. This guy has been really freaking good. And honestly, I have no idea who the hell he is. Uh, I've been actually trying to pick him up in fantasy because he's ranked 14 over the last two weeks. Um, 125 stubs. I recommend this card. I don't have stubs to buy him, but here are the stats. 15 for 50. 
Uh, seven singles, five dingers, 11 ribbies, four walks versus 10 strikeouts. You know what? That's a pretty good investment. If he goes up to a 72, we're all valid. And honestly, guys, those are my top 10. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys think there's other players that should be in here, drop in the comments. Let my boys know. And honestly, that's all I got. Be sure to like and comment. Peace. Hey, yo,